Judas Priest popped up in Los Angeles last week, just a few days before being absolved of liability in the Subliminal Messages trial in Reno, Nevada, to make a video for the group's upcoming album, Painkiller. We traipsed along after them and brought back this report. Lately, when we've seen Judas Priest, they've been wearing suits and ties and sitting in the courtroom. But last week, they were back in leather and shooting a new video, Painkiller, the title cut from their forthcoming album. Well, this video is set in the bowels of Scattergood Power Station, which is on the Pacific coast of California. We did, uh, what was that song, Another Thing Coming, a big power station, now we, that was an English power station just outside of London, now we've sought out the biggest American power station that we could possibly get our hands on, and we're just utilising it to death. <laughs> The video is directed by Wayne Isom, who most recently shot John Bon Jovi's epic, Blaze of Glory. Although the band's courtroom drama may have been a time killer, they say it didn't affect the music they made on Painkiller. We made this album long before we even went out to Reno, and uh, we simply went into the studio in France and in Holland, and we made a killer metal album, the best one we've ever made to date, and we're really excited about it. Now, the band are sweating it out on a video set instead of sweating it out in a Nevada courtroom. Despite the legal drama, Judas Priest say that some aspects of the experience proved quite educational. I mean, we learned a lot of big words, <laughs> we are we? are going to, you know... Uh, what was it? Uh, <laughs> pre, pre, pre cognitive pre, pre, <laughs> pre, pre, Precognitive subconscious or something. It's superliminal. That's so. mean. Like we're being superliminal now as opposed to subliminal. Yeah. But I just got to tell you, the other thing was... We've got to laugh about it. You've got to laugh about this. The prosecution said that if if you play a Something. if you play a record this is forward, good. This is good. This is right. <laughs> if you listen to a lyric forward, your, your subconscious, subconscious mind, mind plays it backwards, and while you're listening to it forwards and comprehends, and comprehends a message. Can you believe that? In October, Judas Priest will kick off their first tour in two years with Megadeth and Testament opening. Rob Halford says, watch out for those costumes. I'm wearing this one outfit this year that's like primo. It's like I'm a walking scrapyard. It's just like the <laughs> ultimate costume I've ever had created. And if you miss out on this, you know, bad luck, guys. Painkiller, an album that CBS Records describes in a new trade ad as awesome, backward or forward. Vicky Rackman here with Rob Halford of Judas Priest. We're at the Concrete Foundation Seminar here in Los Angeles. Now, uh, Painkiller is your 14th album. Yes, it is. That's pretty wild. You haven't mellowed over the years, have you? No, I'm getting wilder as I get older. It's Can you believe this? Yeah. It's great. It's the best feeling in the world, I tell you. Now, did you... Uh, have any idea, I mean, back when you did Rock and Roll, that it was going to be, you were going to be a band that was going to be around for 14 albums? I mean, that's a lot of albums. That's a lot of albums, and you, do, you never have any idea, but that's the great thing about heavy metal and hard rock. You know, if you've got a dream and you believe in your dream, and you work hard at it, and you put all that commitment and dedication, it comes to you. There's a lot of competition out there. There's a lot of great bands, so you really got to gotta work hard at your craft, you know. But uh, we, we've been through it all, you know. We've seen it all. We've done it all. We've had it all but we uh, we're still going strong uh, all these years later and yeah 14th album painkiller it's just bright to still be around you know yeah now you're talking just a little bit about some of the uh, great new bands what are some of the bands that you like are there any new bands that kind of blow you away because i'm sure that they'd be flattered oh, yeah. you know the rob halford yeah them. well i mean there's uh, there's so many new bands especially here at the foundation uh, i'm trying to get in, uh, to see as many people as possible but some more, more of the recent bands that we've all heard of like faith no more and uh and uh, Love Hate, who I think are a fantastic band. Uh, Prong, of course, Warrior Soul. There's a whole bunch of uh, different people, you know. Metal's never been stronger, Ricky. Yeah, has it? it is. I mean, it's incredible. Here we are in the, the last 10 years, uh, before we go into the year 2000, we're all getting psyched up for, uh, for midnight of 1999, right. and when the real metal invasion starts for the year 2000, it's going to be killer. It's going to be fun. Now, you've also got a new drummer who we're going to be uh, introducing the world to in a little bit. Yes, yeah, we have a new... We're, we're Anglo-American now. The priest is Anglo-American. Uh-oh. Uh okay, well, right now it's time to play a new video from Poison. This is the very touching something to believe in. Judas Priest, and this is... The new drummer for Judas Priest. 
I've still got a bad throat from streaming my lungs out last night. We played for the first time ever with our new drummer, Scott Travis. Scott? Scott Travis. How you doing, Scott? Very good, very so good. So what was it like playing your first show with Judas Priest? You are now the drummer of Judas Priest. Yeah, I now am the That's drummer for Judas Priest. pretty... It's pretty, pretty good. amazing because I've been a fan for a long, long time, and uh, it was great. You know, I wasn't really that nervous, and it was live on the radio as well, so it was great. Uh -huh. Now, when you looked for a drummer, what were the qualifications? I mean, they're pretty <laughs> obvious. Got to be kind of nuts and very you have to heavy. Be really tall. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, okay, that, that's one qualification you filled. Now, the thing is, we were looking for somebody that we. Glenn put all the drumming together on the demos. You see, you should never, you should never let a guitar player get onto a drum machine because woo, he was out there he was doing like uh, space uh, space metal uh, drum patterns but when uh, when we finally got a hold of Scott to to learn the songs with us uh, we, we, we saw a lot of people you know we were in Spain uh, where we had the rehearsals and a lot of people send videotapes out because you can't sit there for like eight right. days and listen to a drummer or several drummers doing drum solos it's just too much but uh, we listen to videos and everything, but uh, Scott was the, was the man, you know, the number one man for the job. He's got the fastest feet in the world, the fastest hands in the world, and that's what we were looking for. He's the ultimate heavy metal drummer. Okay, got to ask you real quick, what was it like, a comment from both of you guys, playing in a hotel? This is a nice, nice hotel here in L.A., and, and having Judas Priest play is not what I think they're used to. What was it like? Well, luckily, they had it set up where you really couldn't tell it was a hotel, you know. I mean, they had the lights and the, the they even had the barricade and all the fans, and it was just packed, and it was mayhem, and it was great. It wasn't, it wasn't like being in a hotel at all. Hey, we're going to be back here at the Concrete Foundation. Right now, it's time to play the number five skull crusher of the week. Here is Vixen with How Much Love. Form 90 with the co-host Rob Halford of Judas Priest. And now, Mr. Dave Mustaine of Megadeth. How you doing, Dave? Fine, how are you, Ricky? I'm very good, Dave. Now, um, you guys are also going to be going out with Judas Priest. Right. This is going to be scary. Well, depends. You excited? <laughs> yeah, I'm very you, you excited. See, you're, you're talking really excited, Dave. Listen up. Because you're boring. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. And let's speak of the new album now. Um, <laughs> and people are going to say, yeah, I hear what Dave said about Ricky. They're going to agree with you. Anyways, um, you got a new album out. Yeah, it's called Rest in Peace, and it should be uh, shipped Monday. Depending on where you live, it might be in your hands by Tuesday. So you want to talk a little bit about some of the stuff on the new album? Uh, our first song that we released wa uh, was Holy Wars, and uh, we did a video for that that was debuted. It was world premiered on MTV, and um, it's it's a nine-song LP with no cover material. It's over 40 minutes of material. It's the longest Megadeth album to date. And we have two new members. We have Marty Friedman on guitar and Nick Menz on drums. Uh -huh. So uh, I, I think we kind of got our fire back now because you know we don't have any of the personal problems we used to have either. And things are really looking good for us. Okay, now we were talking about the video. Also, just so you know, it is uh, this week's ball buster, one of this um, week's ball buster, going against last week's winner. That's when you guys call up and pick which one. Now, of course, the Dave Mustaine is right next to me. Shouldn't influence your decisions any which way to call, but the phone number is 1-900-370-0100. Each call costs only 50 cents. Last week's winner is going up against Megadeth on uh, Holy Wars, The Punishment do and uh, right now let's take a look at last week's winner which is going up against these guys see ya Ricky Rackman here back on the ball and it's the Concrete Foundation seminar I'm here with Rob Halford and Scott Travis the new drummer of Judas Priest uh, real quick some of the what, what have you done before Judas Priest uh, worked uh, was in a band Racer X uh -huh. for a few years we That's did an LA album. band wasn't it yeah it was basically an LA band and uh, we're an independent label and did a few records and the band heard uh, the stuff I did with them and that I think helped me get the gig as well you know uh -huh. now when are we going to be seeing you guys out on the road oh very soon very soon we're going to be uh, to hit uh, uh, Canada on the 18th of uh, October October thank you dude <laughs> I think the first show uh, in America is November 1st in Portland which is where we finished the Rummy Down tour so we're we're carrying on where we left off in Portland about two years ago. But that's going to be great. Wild place, Portland. Yeah. All over America, all through California, through Texas, through Florida, through New York State, through Chicago, Philadelphia. You name it, we're gonna we're gonna come in and invade your part of the world. Now I also understand that you guys are like conjuring up some sick thing 
for a big Judas Priest contest we're going to be doing on the Headbangers Ball in the future, right? Yeah, we thought we'd keep the nightmare going uh -huh. with uh, Priest and Headbangers and MTV. We go back a long way with MTV. It's, it's going to be something scary, oh, though. it's going to be something, something in the Judas really? Priest oh, realm, yeah. right? Nothing, we can count on that. Yeah, nothing lightweight. We're not okay. talking jelly and donuts here. Okay. It's going to be really intense, uh -huh. really intense. Now, we were talking a little bit earlier about some of the great new heavy metal that is finally back out, and here is a typical example. Here's a brand new one from ACDC. It's brand new on the charts, and it is also the number four Skull Crusher of the Week. Here is Thunderstruck. Like, like if I mention titles, you can just tell us yeah. like a little synopsis. Yeah. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Okay, go. The Hammer and the Anvil. The Hammer and the Anvil. Oh, the Hammer and the Anvil. We uh, we talk about what happened to Priest in Reno and what we think about. What happened uh, in Reno? We just went there for a small vacation. <laughs> <laughs> and Reno will never be the same. We'll get into we'll get into Reno a little bit later on in the show. But uh, Hammer and the Anvil addresses the issue. The last thing I wanted to do uh, was. Uh, was really, you know, write a song about what happened in, in the in the in the situation in Nevada. But the whole the whole uh, story behind Hammer and the Anvil sort of encapsulates our feelings about what we did there. So when you listen to the words, you'll get a bit of a message from the priest in that one. Mm -hmm. Hammer and the Anvil. So there is a message on that song. Yeah, there's a message. Okay. <laughs> now the song Leather Rebel. Leather Rebel. That's what we all are. Yeah. I mean, I'm not any wearing any leather today. This is my tribute to the Marine Corps and all the great people that are out in the Middle East, yes. helping keep freedom in the world. You guys are doing a great job, and you girls, of course. Not only the Marines, the Air Force, the Navy, everybody doing an incredible job. All the metal maniacs are supporting them, Ricky. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of metal maniacs in the armed forces, you know. Uh, but Leather Rebel. That's what we are. The Leather Rebel. He's another priest figure that we've created, and uh, he's going to be another big hero for the okay. band. We're going to talk more about the new album. We're also going to talk a little bit later about the show and just, just everything about the Judas Priest coming up. And uh, right now is a new one for the ball. This is a brand new one from Winger. This is Miles Away. Rob Halford of Judas Priest. Now, I'm getting excited. The Judas Priest show is going on the road soon. Yes, after two years, we've been away too long in America. Okay. We're coming back. Just to prove how scary it is, tell us who's <laughs> going out with you guys. Oh, my God. This is the <laughs> ultimate, the absolute ultimate heavy metal bill. Not only do you have Judas Priest, which is, but you also, which is scary enough, you also get Megadeth. Megadeth, can you imagine? Megadeth and Priest. And if that wasn't enough, you've got Testament. So the calories will burn off at this show. We could say this that. It. Yeah, this is a weight loss program in the biggest way. This is going to be a great show. <laughs> now, what are wild. people going to get to expect from this? Just give us a little bit of hint of this next Judas Priest well, show. You know, Priest has got a bit of a reputation for, it, for putting on a, a highly volatile, a spectacular entertainment evening. And this is no exception. We work really hard with the people that make our stages and our lighting rigs and everything else. So this is the ultimate heavy metal extravaganza for priests. You'll see, you'll see more lights. Give us a hint. Speakers. Just give us one hint. Well, we've got this Blow box. Blow a little you surprise. You've got this box, you see. Now, this box is on the stage, but we don't know what's in this box, do we? This sort of kind of special metal box with barbed wire and smoke coming out of it. Now, this is this is one of the, the surprises. What's in this box? Even I don't know just yet, mm. but I've been told there's this box that they're creating that's like going to have the ultimate metal surprise in there. So, uh, you so know, we'll, it's we'll find out when we see thought, the show. isn't it, really? To talk about something that you don't know about. Uh -huh. But uh, all I've been told is this really weird metal box <laughs> that's going to be there. But that's just one thing. The motorbike's back, of course. Of course. Got to bring the, the bike out for Hellbent for Leather. Yeah. And all, so much so much smoke and so much. Oh, you won't be able to see the band. We've got so much smoke Typical Judas Priest here. stuff, right? Yeah, it's going to be like 4th of, the, 4th of July every day on this tour. Yeah, now, speaking of the tour, right now, these are just some of the dates that are going to be in your city. And, of course, there will be more if uh, your city is even going to allow this tour to come to town. <laughs> Who knows? But right now, here are some of the tour dates for the Judas Priest show. Priest, and, of course, going out with Megadeth and Testament. Just, it's, 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 it's It sounds huge. Right now, let's take a look at a video from one of my favorite bands. Here's Suicidal Tendencies with You Can't.